Our project is really trying to immersively allow people to, to be trained inside of virtual reality environments. We're actually using a, the same sort of platform that a lot of gamers use. So for the first time, I think there's like that sense of awe. There's these new worlds, these new experiences that you've never had before. What we want to do is leverage those for engineering purposes. Any stage of the product development life cycle, from concept to prototyping, to manufacturing, you can do it virtually. We've been trying to investigate how we can put the trainee inside a virtual reality environment so they can kind of see the same sort of perspective that the trainer might experience while they're doing their job. They can practice inside these virtual environments in smaller spaces and then they can move off to a location and they'll be ready to work. There's no bounds, there's no limits. You have this platform where you know, you're in this warehouse and there's a helicopter and there's a jet and you can put on a headset and you know, essentially go teleport around this helicopter. Right there. Right there. There you go. Now you're in the cockpit. We have the ability to test it, and it's been really, really fun to start bringing in students of any discipline um, to essentially try out this new training platform and see if it's uh, more effective than traditional training methods. They love to be in there. They love to kind of like bend the rules in physics. It's just kind of like a new dimension. Virtual reality has the potential to really offer solutions to some of the problems in this world and be where you can be a leader in that regard.